what we do here is go back, 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 back. I don't think it's strong enough to hit the target back up, so maybe I'll just shoot at the thing there. It's kind of like dead on though. I'd say it's about like just a hair shy. Lower. Um, and then here's full auto. And again, that's with a 7.4 7 LiPo. Hey guys, and welcome to another unboxing here. We have a, another G&G &G product from, uh, or from, from Toronto Airsoft this time, or again actually, and CM16R8. It does come with the included red dot, which I'll show in a second. Let's hop into this box real quick. Here we are inside of the box. You can see the gun here uh, in this little compartment down here that's empty. It did house the red dot sight here, which I'll talk about in a second. Let's put it in there for now. Uh, you do get a thousand rounds of the BBs. As per usual, you get a 300 thinner round high capacity magazine. It's a polymer construction, but it also does have a bit of uh, this whole grip section here, which is actually very comfortable in the hand. It is a very, it's, it's rubber basically, and, but it does feel really nice. And it's a pretty cool, pretty cool tactical looking mag, I'd say. Before we get to the gun itself, uh, I'll talk about this aim point here that does come with the gun. Uh, it doesn't come uh, together like this, you'll have to attach the rail yourself, which is a little tedious just because it does have six Allen key screws at the top there, you can see. So that's a little annoying to get it uh, centered just right. But it's actually pretty, pretty con construction. Feels pretty nice. You got these little dust covers here. I don't know if I can get this on camera. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yep, that looks pretty good. But yeah, it's just a simple red dot. Turn that off. Close the caps. Uh, you do have your right and left windage here and then you're up and down right there in the battery compartment here. How you turn it on is just right here, turning that. Right and left, it does have three settings on it. And it is only a red, not a red-green. Now let's get into the gun itself. On this side, you got the g, &G markings, combat machine. Uh, it does have a polymer, very comfortable grip, almost like mag pole style, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, but very comfortable. Um, you got a crane stock here with six positions. Very useful. Uh, does have enough. This is where the battery goes, so it'd be nice for a uh, butterfly type. Um, and then you got the full rail along the top. Uh, these clips here didn't come with the gun. I put that on myself. Um, so it'll just be clear rails, which is polymer oil construction. Um, there's not too much metal on this gun, but it does feel very strong, so not to worry about that. This, I live in Canada, so this just comes delivered with the gun. You don't need it. Uh, I did find the, uh, it's not a traditional birdcage type of flash hider. I'm not, God, I can't get this. It's a little weird. It's got like a little hole here. If you can see that, it doesn't go all the way around with the birdcage. But uh, it's kind of nifty looking. I don't know. I'll probably end up putting a silencer on it anyway. Um, and uh, 
the gun with the mag in. Uh, not too sure if this is just my product um, that I got myself, or mine, if I got the bad lemon again, uh, like my Lancer Tactical. Uh, it's not too much of a deal, but uh, the charging handle, handle doesn't seem to be too functional. It doesn't open the dust cover there, so it's kind of annoying, but that's how you have to get to your pop up right in there so again not sure if that's just mine or what's up with that but um, one last thing I guess fire selector switch that's very common everyone should know um, and you do have this one point sling here that you can switch you can flip it to either side comes on the right I would assume um, you can also take off the stock by you move it by pressing down, but but to take it off, you just pull up. You pull up, and it should slide right off. Whoa. Um, so yeah, I'll put the uh, aim point on here. It does come with just a thumb screw, which is very nice. Other than the six on the top. Here's the gun itself. Again, I'm not sure if this is upside down or not. Wish we could get this in the frame. And there's the G&G &G CM16 combat machine.